Hi Taurus, welcome to your July 2017 love reading. It's Raina here and um, I just wanted to let you know that due to an experiment I did last month where I did separate love readings for single people, my, uh, my feeling was that it was redundant and for this venue I don't want to have overlapping kinds of videos so I'm going to be putting singles and anyone else who wants to watch uh, uh, Oracle primarily Oracle readings with a little tarot in there on my uh, website you can check it out there will be a link below when they are available so it will be at rainamoonastrology.com but it will be under on-demand on videos and it will be for your sign a dollar 77 US currency and um, yeah so it's going to combine um, I have this new deck Oracle of the Mermaids and other this is for love specifically and I have other Oracle cards that I may throw in there and I will do a tarot spread along with that I still have to find the the perfect one and so you'll find out more information when I provide the link and I've got everything up and running but I did want to kind of promote it with these set of readings because I know I'm going to be doing it sometime in June so on with this <clears throat> okay Okay, I did when I picked this tool, I'm going to put these two as the higher message. Okay, this is going to cross you. Yeah. Oh, another card where I picked it. Okay, let's put these here. Okay. Well, one thing that with the um, situation with those love readings where I was trying to do single people, if I had picked, if I had pulled this spread and I was doing this for a single person and I said, okay, the general theme of this in July is moving on to what, you know, moving away from what no longer serves you. Well, that would imply that there was a past that this person is moving away from. And it's in the relationship sector uh, because there, it's cups. So typically, that means that the person was involved with somebody else. Uh, I guess if you're single, you could say that you're looking for, you're, you're on, a, on a spiritual journey, and you're looking for that person who will do it for you. But look at the past. This this implies disappointment in love. And that's why you're going on this quest. And you're leaving that situation. So it is very hard to talk about relationships without the context of a past. Like the person is just completely like um, on their own. And I, I say this just to remind people of what our lives are all about we are organic beings we're not compartmentalized where we our lives one one area of your life affects the other your work life affects your your romance life and vice versa so some of you have been disappointed by a partner and have walked away from that situation um, the knight of pentacles is actually your card and perhaps you have thrown yourself into your work as a result and just are all about making money. You know, you figure that's the one thing you can control. And as a fixed sign, as a fixed earth sign, when you are a person on a mission, you are like a steamroller, like a tank. You know, you're just barreling forward with your goals, what it is that you want to accomplish. 
And that can be very productive and, you know, a constructive way of using grief or, you know, that sense of dejection in a positive way so that it doesn't consume you. The higher message is the Ace of Cups and the Chariot card. Perhaps this person that broke your heart was a Cancer because this is connected to Cancer. But yes, instructional, spiritual instruction. The Chariot is all about focus and one, you know, one-pointedness, having a goal. And you know, this is a, a card of victory. So having a goal, accomplishing your goal, feeling victorious, and feeling like you're in control of your life because you're, you have focus on what it is that you want. The Ace of Pentacles, again, with this job situation, it could be a new job offer, money coming in from um, a loan, maybe a business loan, or uh, it could be any kind of money. Maybe you didn't expect it. It's coming from the clouds. And um, so it could be like this new life, that portal, walking through the, the portal, and this is a lifesaver for you but this could be also that it's a new relationship with somebody that it's going to be the real deal for you the pentacles relates or connects you to that solidity that you crave so much that predictability and perhaps you were in a relationship that was unstable in some way um, maybe the other person would not commit or they were too if I, I, for some reason Scorpio is coming into my head Scorpio is your opposite sign and a, a sign like Scorpio might be even suspicious might be accusatory thinking that you're cheating and it just got to be too much the higher uh, I'm sorry the the card that crosses you is the higher fat this is you this is your um, card, Taurus. It represents Taurus. So what this suggests is... Sorry, I had to stop this um, and create a new file. What I was saying with the Hierophant is that it's a card that's associated with your sign. And, you know, you have that represented with the, the Knight of Pentacles and the Minor Arcana. And it's a card of marriage and conformity, tradition... And this may be hurting you if um, you feel like for some reason you're being held back by these things. You have to be able to leave a situation that is not serving you and not worry about what other people will think about it. Obviously, if you have children or something like that, then there are complications. But in general, it's... This, this kind of um, uh, rituals, traditions, conditioning, because it could be your culture that is conditioning you, can get in the way of you being able to heal from a, a situation and bring into your life the, the very thing that you want, which is a new relationship. The advice, or what may be coming up in, is the Queen of Wands. This is a card of, um, if this is you, this is you becoming very cheerful, feeling a sense of, of positivity. Maybe that person was being very, um, a negative influence on you, and you weren't even aware of how much it was affecting you until you got away from it. And that's a card of career too, especially if you're a woman, the career woman, um, that could be very much represented by that card so it can speak to you being this um, person who is really thriving in your career and when you're in that place you're very confident this is a card of confidence and I think that confidence is very sexy and other people sense that in you and you attract love to you don't get caught up in the timing. This could be something that, that comes up after you are dealing with other things. 
the outcome is the I did pick an ex extra card but we have the 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 hangman it's about you letting go of the need to control the situation perhaps you are thinking in terms of some uh, relationship that you would like to, to to begin I'm thinking with the ace of Pentacles that could be pointing to it maybe it is with a, a a cancer maybe that is the new person cancer the cancer could be the new moon in cancer which is happening on June 23rd maybe that's the turning point and where you have a new relationship a new job something like that and um, that that can be a situation where you have to just allow the universe to do its thing. Maybe you're trying to kind of force the universe's hand and try to make things happen because you really want it, especially if you have Aries in you, uh, like Aries, uh, Mars and Aries or Venus and Aries. Um, so just surrender to whatever is happening in your life right now and see what happens. This is especially important in love, not to try to be too pushy about it, because it's more likely that you will attract something if you sit back and just allow. And now, I, I because these cards came out together, I did pick this one as well. The Tower card, I think in this context, I don't see that this is some kind of a, a, a situation where you're sneaking around or anything like that. So I don't think this is some revelation revealed that kind of shakes everyone to their core. I think this is more a situation where it's love at first sight. Maybe you're going along, you're surrendering, and then pow, you meet that person and you know. And Taurus, when you know, you will know. There won't be a doubt. And so maybe in the past you were with somebody and it really wasn't, a love thing and you knew it in your heart of hearts and this time you'll know so i hope you enjoy this taurus if you'd like a private reading please click on the link below you can go to rainandmoonastrology.com that's where my readings are that you choose otherwise i hope you have a very romantic july take care bye